with the Moon Boys holding on to the edge of their seats for dear life. Are the Baby Bears about to inflict a final massive dumpulation all the way down to this price down here? Or is the biggest fake out since the beginning of mankind already taking place? Right now, the Baby Bulls are facing potentially their second biggest battle of the last two years, flipping one of the most key levels of support. After failing to break 30K, this next level is the only one left. If it's not able to hold, then everything changes for the Moon Boys and potentially the halving truly becomes the having or even a double having of our money, meaning we, we lose everything. Absolutely. So if we jump in, there's a lot of charts I want to look at, but let's take a look at some macro views on Twitter, aka X. So first off, CryptoCon talking about the halving cycle. We're less than eight months. We're roughly about seven months and three weeks away from the next projected halving date, which is right around, as of right now, the middle of April, 2024. Uh, and looking at other cycles, Bitcoin, so far, you know, following those cycles, is actually right on track. During 2015, 2016, it was about a six month um, sideways price action, very similar to now. 2019 to 2020, same thing, but there's also some big downside and the biggest black swan we've seen in the Bitcoin markets, um, right, back in March of 2020. But each example recovered very quickly and uh, early in the year before the halving, meaning it would be this year. Being below healthy supports like the 20-week EMA, um, as, as uh, CryptoCon states here, expect some dull price action. And that's exactly what I've been saying. Um, and as I've been repeating over and over, I still think we have at least another month or two of basically boringness. But that boringness translates to maximum opportunity to people that... Uh, have benefited from these cycles, like myself, like many of you as well. There are plenty of people all, that are watching these videos, I can tell if you're subscribed, how long you've been here. A lot of people, multiple years, right? There's a lot of new people. Actually, no, you know what? There's not, there's like no new people. Um, everybody watching these videos, <laughs> mine and like most people also, are the same people that were watching two years ago because nobody new is getting interested in Bitcoin right now. When I say nobody, I mean, of course, there's some people here and there, but we're talking about like less than 1% of total viewership. So a very, very small amount of people are getting interested now, just like every other bear cycle, just like every other maximum opportunity time, right? Um, the smart people are literally buying in right now, not financial advice. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. But uh, I mean, I personally, 100%, just my personal opinion, absolutely believe without a question of a doubt, a thousand, 10,000, a million percent buying right now is better than buying in, um, you know, the peak in 2021. I mean, that goes without saying. Um, and this, to me, as I've also repeated over and over and over again, is very similar to 2019. Most of 2019 was insanely boring. And then it started getting exciting towards the very end, and especially, as we know, in early 2020. Um, and again, I think, I, I think we have the exact same scenario ahead of us right now. Um, taking a look at this as well. The biggest, Mr. Crypto pointed out, Bitcoin long liquidations in more than a year just occurred recently. Uh, the biggest spikes comparable to this we saw were back in the June, the January rally of this year, 200 million short liquidations that started this rise from about 15 K up to 31 K. We saw the Luna collapse back in May of 2022 and also the collapses that began this bear market back in the end of 2021. So many signals showing that, uh, the, the amount of pain we've seen guys, if we rewind a year back to late 2022, it had already been a pretty bad year. Um, but really, if you rewind a year, so many other bad things have happened after August of 2022 to now. Within the last year, even crazier, more dump, dumpy things have happened. If you would have asked me a year ago, you know, have we seen enough pain? Or if you would have asked most people, they would have said it might have been 50-50 yes, 50-50 no. Um, if you ask anyone right now, have we seen enough pain? Guys, we're at the depths climbing out of a bear market. It has been, if you really think about it, it has been crazy. It has been very bad. It has been very dumpy. So if I ask myself, because I've seen a couple cycles, is has the pain been bad enough to really, you know, start to be enter a new bull cycle? My answer would be yes. It has been dumpy enough. Now you're going to get those people who are saying, no, it's, it hasn't been dumpy enough. We have to go to 3K first. We have to go to 1500 first, right? Some people are watching me say that and they're going to say, nobody's saying that. There are people saying that, okay? 
not people with big followings, but there are people with, you know, at least a couple thousand people that are, have been saying, you know, we're going to go to at least three and even lower. Just absolute crazy talk. Uh, now, plan B, his technical analysis in one chart they posted today, basically showing us this momentum combined with the tops, uh, psychological levels as well, and bottoms, basically to summarize it, um, he's saying the bottom is in, if, if you would look at this. And uh, really, we should see Bitcoin appreciate over the next year, especially as we head towards the halving. And Titan of Crypto pointing out that many are waiting to buy Bitcoin a lot lower, like 3K. Uh, basically, one of the only charts that's been anywhere close, macro, like multi-year charts that's anywhere close to accurate is the rainbow chart. And it's been saying that we are in a fire sale, the very bottom of this level here, very, very bottom. And uh, looking at this chart, if you have any respect for cycles of Bitcoin, which some people, most people do, some people don't, it's fine if you don't, I guess. But uh, I think over the next year, a lot of people will be surprised at how um, cycles of Bitcoin truly can impact the price so systematically, um, right? I mean, even I remember back in 2019, one of the reasons that I was so confident that Bitcoin was about to start pumping was because of cycles. And at that point, we had even less than we have now. Now we have another full cycle in the books. Every four years, we get another one. And so far, this supply having truly has been pretty concrete in terms of how it in, uh, impacts the price. And on Bitcoin's daily chart, so I'm actually, as I've been saying, I'm just gonna summarize the TA first before we jump into it. I'm pretty bearish in the short term. Um, I, I think it's very likely we could see another leg lower. We're about to get on the daily chart, the 21 cross below the 200 day moving average. We already crossed below the 50 um, back at the very beginning of August, a couple weeks ago, and then we got a dump afterwards. I could see this price action again, go lower. And that's what I've been saying over and over for the past couple of weeks. Uh, this chart here, you know, finding support there. Ultimately in the short term, I am bearish. In the medium to long term, I'm bullish, but I think we could easily come back down to at least 23,000 as I keep repeating. Uh, we look at this chart though, this is what's very big. So the 30K level is illustrated in this box. You can see that here. We got rejected here multiple times. We had multiple attempts in 2023 and we got rejected each time. Now, this level of support though, we did flip and we have held it. First time we held it after flipping was back in June. This is our second test to try and hold this. So this is very important. And we had multiple rejection here, rejections here before. So when we ultimately broke this, this is the big test right here, holding about 24 to 25K, huge. Then we can have another attempt at 30K. But uh, in, you know, in that test of 24, 25K, if we come a little bit below that and then ultimately wick above that and hold it on a weekly, that's fine. But you know, in the short term, things look bearish. The 21 day, where we got rejected most recently on August 16th, we're we're below a lot of key stuff so this is pretty bearish for the price and that's why i'm bearish in the short term right now for bitcoin and take advantage of massive sign up and deposit bonuses if you're interested in trading with femex and big below specifically congrats to the winners on femex we had a short little competition that was cut short we're gonna have an actual one but uh yeah you did uh, there are a few winners that are going to be receiving uh, their winnings from the competition. But if you're interested in signing up for future trading competitions or just trading and earning free XPT, when you trade with my link below, uh, just sign up, takes 30 seconds. And without you from the Magoo, it's for me.